Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am very happy to be here. How are you doing um, today? Good, very happy. Nice. I am very glad to hear that. Hello, Elmer. Hello, Sandrita. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Is it raining near your houses? No, teacher. Nothing. It's playing now. Yeah, here is like if it wants to rain, it doesn't want to rain, so it's <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't decide if it's going to rain or not. So, Here a little teacher. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. So there was there was a place I don't remember where today uh, that it was having even very heavy rains and heavy winds, even granizo they had it. So it was like what? <laughs> and here not a single drop of rain. So our weather is very crazy. And have you seen any cigars? Cigars are chicharras. Have you seen any cigars near your house? No, teacher. Nothing. Yeah, yes, teacher. I, I can I can I can hear the cigar. Yeah, yeah, here either. So it is Rosario, yes, you have. Yes, my my daughter, uh, I question for me, Mom, what is the, the listen animal? <laughs> Entonces, I explanation. You explain about the cigars. So you say, yeah. Mom, what is that noise? You say, Mom, what I, is that noise? Que es ese ruido? Or yes. what is that animal? So for you to explain. So now you know that in English is a cigar, right? And they, they make this very specific sound, right? That it's very, very like, it, it. you can identify it, right? It is, I think it's the only animal that makes that sound. So you see, we have different situations that are announcing Holy Week, so. I hope they are going to appear soon, right? Because in the past, that was like the, the starting point of Holy Week. So decíamos, ya salió la chicharra, ya empezó. La good cuarenta. evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, welcome. We are waiting, Thanks. We are waiting for everybody here. So it is a great pleasure to have you all here tonight, ready for another day, another class, and for sure, ready to keep learning. So that is the most important part of the day, to keep learning and to keep practicing and for sure to get more information and ideas about English. So, and let me see. Okay, so we are going to work. We are going to work today. And I hope that you have practiced your questions. And I hope that you have actually uh, prepared your answers because we are going to use them today. So uh, before everything, let me just look and open your manual because we are going to use it, okay? Yesterday, we started talking a little bit about body language, right? Body language and the meaning of different uh, gestures that we always do. So we started talking about that yesterday, right? body language. We have a lot of ways to communicate using body language. And we Salvadorian are very expressive at the moment of speaking, right? And we can actually identify when some people are angry, when some people are uh, trying to say something, right? You don't need words to do it because body language is very clear for us. So do you have any example, people, 
of body language that we Salvadorians use. Let me just, I, I will stop sharing for a moment, right? I will stop sharing for a second. So we can actually open the camera, okay? I need you to open your cameras in this class because we need to, to actually show, right? We need to show a little bit of, of movements, right? Sandrita, you can help me with your camera. Emma, Marbelli, Damaris, Mr. Pablo, Carlo Fernando, and Damaris, and also Nati, that is, it has just connected. So please help me with your cameras. So we can actually uh, participate from the class today because if you don't have it, I cannot actually see you, right? So body language doesn't take place if I don't see. What is something very like, I don't know that you can say like, ah, you can spot that a Salvadorian wants to say something with this specific body language. ¿Qué tipos de lenguaje corporal usamos mucho en nuestro país? Remember that it has to be educational, okay? <laughs> not, not anything out of place, okay? Mantengamos lo educativo. Uh -huh. All the body language that you are going to show me. So if you see a Salvadorian, if you see a Salvadorian doing this, what's the meaning of that? Uh -huh. What is the meaning if you see a Salvadorian doing it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If you see a Salvadorian doing this, <laughs> I, I like this class, but it's it's funny. So like, uh huh? She is so. Oh, he is so. Oh. Uh huh? Or it's there, right? And if you say like, where is where is it? Donde está? And you say <laughs> to like point over there. Over there, right? That's the meaning, over there. What is another gesture that we use in our country? Show me another gesture that we use a lot. ¿Qué otra cosa hacemos nosotros para comunicar? O para comunicar algo específico. Teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. Elvia. Maybe. Shh. Ah. Shh. <laughs> Okay, and it's like, y ya le dijiste a tu mamá de la... <laughs> uh -huh. That's the shh thing, it's very common. Another one that we use. What is another example that we use? I don't remember, teacher, come on. Yo, teacher. Uh -huh. Nelson. Um, for example, I disagree. Uh -huh, when you disagree. You say, good, right? When you disagree and you say, no. Good, another example. Thank you, Nelson. How do you say come here to a person in Spanish? ¿Cómo llamas a alguien y decirle venir? Venite. <laughs> Yes. No, but with body language, come on. Language. Right, like, come, come, come. And, and if you want, and if you want someone to be fast, if you want someone to be very fast, <laughs> and if you know that you are in trouble, cuando alguien está en problemas, say, ooh, uh -huh. how do you do that when someone is in trouble? <laughs> very good it is right it's like oh when you are in trouble right good and if you see someone that you don't like that you dislike what is your expression when you see someone that you don't like <laughs> look at Saul he's like, hmm. <laughs> I like that one right and when you say your your cousin that you say like when when you have when you are like with your friends and the two people do not like the person you say your uncle yours they say <laughs> they say like and and if, or if your, brother. <laughs> your brother your brother my <laughs> mom is the the hands on the wine wines Su mano en la cintura y sabíamos uh -huh. que anda, algo andaba mal. Oh, my God. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. It was like, 
<sighs> now you knew that you were in trouble. If you saw your mother with the, I know. So you better start praying because <laughs> something was going to happen, right? Good. How do you how do you uh, show that you are nervous? That you are nervous. Uh huh. Elisa is like, okay. Or you, <laughs> Elmer. Okay. Well, but that that has many meanings. If you see someone in your country doing this, what is it? What is this person doing? Uh -huh, it has like different meanings, right? And if you see the person doing this, fight. It's a fight. Right? When a uh, fight. Okay. You, you need to be prepared. You need to be prepared, right? You need to be prepared because fight is coming, right? The fight. And if you see someone like cracking their finger, it's because they are nervous or anxious, right? How do you say someone to leave you alone? Leave me alone. How do you say that? ¿Cómo, cómo lo expresan con su cuerpo? Leave me alone. Okay, Saúl is like, <laughs> that's like, get mm -hmm. out of here. <laughs> okay. How do you express that you are angry? How do you express that you are angry? But that I need to see that you are angry. Not just with your face, because maybe you might be serious, right? But what is something peculiar that you do when you are angry? Touch your stomach. Oh, you touch your stomach, <laughs> right? It's like, ah. Uh, or maybe you cross, <laughs> you cross your arms, right? Like this. You are like, right? When when I am angry, I just, I just move my face to one side, like. And I don't look at the person. <laughs> so that says that I am angry. I almost never get angry. So don't worry. That will never happen here. How do you show that you are very excited about something? That you are very excited. That you are like, yeah. Uh -huh. How do you show? Uh -huh, it is. How do you show that you are very excited about something? Yay! Right, you move your hands up, right, like this. Like, yay! Great, right. If you see your favorite soccer team is scoring a goal, you are like, yay! Right, Byron, you you are very expressive. I like that one. So that is body language, right? That it's body language, and it it refers to how you express your feelings with a your your expressions in your body. As you can see here, the first one that we have, it says, leave me alone. Right? It's like, hmm. And she's very angry and she doesn't want to talk to anybody. What about the second one? It says, that's finished. Okay, it's over. This one says, I'm thinking. Right, it's like, I'm thinking, right? The next one, what is the meaning of the next one? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, right? What is the meaning? I don't know, teacher. Right? I don't know the uh, meaning. And what about the last one? I am bored. I'm bored, I'm bored right? I'm bored. I'm bored. Like, you say I'm bored, right? Good. So these are different types of expressions with body language, right? Leave me alone. That's finished. I'm thinking. I don't know. And I'm bored. We use all these gestures. Gestures are gestos, right? Uh, in your country, yes. And for sure, we use many other things to communicate. So let's go over this conversation that it was a reality for me because I have a friend from India and it's terrible because you never understand anything about them. Okay, I am going to ask uh, Saul and Sandra, can you help me with the conversation? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to start. Had you met Rad, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seemed really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moved his, his, his head from side to side. When you talk to him, you know, like this? 
Maybe it's mean he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or uh, it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their head from side to side when they agree with what you're saying. Uh, so that's what it means. Okay, so when they do this, it's because they want to say yes. And when they do this, it's they want to say no. It's very complicated, right? I have a friend from India and he was like, hey, let's work and everything. And I was like, what? what's happening? What's the problem? And I was like, okay, tell me, do, do you need anything or something? Can I, can I start? And he was like, <laughs> And he was actually telling me, yes, 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 all the time. And I was like, <laughs> I was very frustrated when, when I knew the, the answer, right? That this one is no, and this one is yes for them. <laughs> so, and for us, is the contrary. Do you have any question on vocabulary on this conversation? No? Rag is the name of the student, right? Have you met Rag, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but I said, bueno onda, right? But there is one thing I noticed. Me di cuenta de algo. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you are saying. Oh, so that's what it means. So in this case, we have, right, Rak that it's saying no. Practice with me. Have you met Rak, the student from India? Have you met Rak, the student from India? Have you met Rak, the student from India? Okay, the student from India? The student, the student from India. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Have you met Rath, the student from India? No, I haven't. Have you met Rath? Have you met Rath, the, the student from India? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. He moves, he moves his, his head, head from side, side to side, 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 to side, side when, you when you talk to him. him. You know, like this. You know, you you know, know like, like, like this. this. Okay. Uh, maybe it means he doesn't understand you. Maybe it means he doesn't, he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. No, I don't, no, think, I don't, so. Think, so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, think, I don't, think, so. don't think so. Don't say sing, sing so. Like, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Or, or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with what you are saying. Actually, people from India sometimes agree with that. What you're saying? Saying, saying. Saying. Oh, so that's what it means. Oh, oh so, so that's, that's what, what it, it, means. it means. So that's what it means. When it says like, when it, says, it could mean. It could mean. It could mean, right? It could mean. It means he doesn't understand. It right. means it means he doesn't, it means he doesn't understand, understand you. you. Okay, so in these type of sentences, we use the different types of models for you to predict something 
about a situation. And you use modals and in some kind and sometimes you use adverbs. For example, in these cases, we have it may mean or it might mean, right? Probablemente significa, right? So you have these the specific forms, right? It might mean or it may mean he doesn't understand you. It could mean he doesn't agree with you. It must mean he agrees with you. What is the level of like the level of the prediction or of the level of exactness that we have here? It might mean it's probably right from one to 10, 50. It could mean it's like a 75%. It must mean, it's like debe significar, that it's a 100% of certainty of what you are talking. Because imagine that you see someone and the person is like, nah. Nah, it may mean he doesn't care about it. It could mean he doesn't know. It must mean that he doesn't know, right? So that is the level of certainty of things. This is the lowest and this is the highest. It must mean, debe significar esto. You are sure about it. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. It's like, the best. You say, perhaps, en efecto significa eso. And he says, like, that probably means he agrees with you. Probablemente significa. So here you have the three different levels. It may, it might. It could, it must. Maybe, perhaps. Probably. If you see a baby crying on the arms of her mother, what will be your prediction? Uh -huh. Ven a un niño llorando, lo tiene chineado su mamá. What could you say? Based on the sentences that we have here with models or with adverbs. That maybe the baby is hungry. Maybe he's hungry, you say. Maybe he is hungry. Okay, it might be hungry, you say. Another probability? He's just hungry. ¿Qué otra cosa le puede estar pasando? Uh, or Maybe. he is sick. No. He, okay. In that case, you can say maybe he's sick, right? Or he is probably sick. Okay. So you have the probability. Uh -huh. Elmer? Yes, I was here teaching. Uh, no, but you, you go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so you say it could mean that he is uh, sick. Uh, that probably he is sick. That probably means he is sick. Okay. Any other situation? When we are happy. Uh huh. When we are happy, what happens? We are talking about the the crying baby. Okay, I will give you another another situation you see a car in front of you and the lady goes down of down of the car se bajó la chica del car and she just closed the door what might have happened hmm? se le bajó del carro y le cerró la puerta maybe she is angry maybe she's angry okay maybe that she's angry. probably mean uh, she is angry that probably means she's angry any other prediction it i could mean she is angry it could mean that she is angry right yeah. They, they it must mean that they are fighting. Right? You have another situation, right? You were in the middle of the class and all of a sudden the teacher disappears. 
la teacher de la nada desapareció. Maybe it means uh, the internet is bad. Maybe it means her internet is bad. <laughs> yeah, it must be like. <laughs> what is another? Maybe, maybe uh, that broke the camera. <laughs> maybe she broke the camera. <laughs> Okay, maybe maybe she broke the camera. We never know. Uh -huh. What else? What else it might be happening? Maybe it means uh, she don't want to give us our class. She don't? Fact, she don't. She it's don't? A, it's an example. <laughs> she don't or she doesn't. Maybe, maybe the electricity went up. Okay, maybe the electricity went out, right? She's run out of electricity, right? A <laughs> right? It okay. must mean her internet is failed. Okay, her internet failed, right? It might mean that failed. her internet failed. Failed. Very good job. Okay, so in this one, if you see this person doing this gesture in front of you, what is the meaning of this? That's some crazy. That's some crazy. That sounds crazy. <laughs> that like, sounds crazy. It's like, what are you thinking? <laughs> well, right? That sounds crazy. What about this one? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come oh, here. Yeah. Depending on the way they do it, right? Because if it is your mother and it's like, <laughs> you better run, right? And if it is a lady that it's very beautiful and she's like, and then you go running, right, to her. Give me your cell phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about this one, number three? Be quiet. Be quiet, Be quiet, right? Be quiet. What about number four? Peace. Peace. Peace, right? Peace. Peace and love, they say. What about number five? Be careful. Be careful. Be careful, Be careful right? <laughs> well, hitting El Salvador, if you see uh, someone in front of you and it's like, I'm watching you, right? I'm watching you, right? Hmm? I'm watching you. Yeah, and this one also, right? I'm watching you. So be careful because I have my eyes on you. What about this one, number six? What, what it might mean, number six? Here we have the list for you to have an idea. We won. We won. We won, we won right? We won. We won. Um, and in which other case do you do you do a high five? En qué otra situación hacemos un high five? When you are agree with other you, person. Okay, when you agree. When you agree with other, right? That phrase is very, it's very typical for you to make mistakes with. When you say, uh, when we are agree, that's not possible, right? Say, so when we agree, yay. What about number seven? Hello. Hello. Hello, right? Hello. What is the meaning of this action? What is the, the name of this action? Say goodbye. No, what is the name of this action that I am doing with my hand? Que move. It has a specific name. Yes. Wave. Hello? Wave, right? When you wave your hand. Wave. wave. Wave your hand, right? When you say like, hey, I was in Metro Centro and I was waving you and you didn't see me. I didn't, I was not wearing my glasses, you say. Number eight. I can I can hear you. I can, I can hear, hear you. I can hear you, right? And this one is accompanied by many different words. When you say like, ah, and then you, you repeat, right? But if, if your wife, for example, is like, ¿Qué dijiste? <laughs> and she's giving you an opportunity to survive. So for you to say something different, so be careful on that one. It's like, sorry? No, 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 nothing, nothing. <laughs> you have to be very careful on that one. So how do you, uh, in this one, for example, say like that probably means, right? We are going to use the phrases now, right? You identify the different meanings, but now we are going to use the sentences that we practiced before. So 
For number one, you can say that probably means it must mean, right? Maybe it means, perhaps it means, right? Give me the sentence with the complete form. You can use any of these ones. You can say, for example, uh, number one, you can say that probably means, or it might mean, it could mean, that probably means, or maybe it means, and then you give me the uh, answer, okay? For number one, what would be the sentence? Number one, and use the complete form. <clears throat> so you say, it could mean he, says that that sounds crazy or maybe right. it means that sounds crazy okay you can use any of the different forms what about number two maybe it means come here maybe it means come here very good job what about number three Maybe it means be quiet. Maybe it means be quiet, right? Number four. Maybe it means peace. Maybe it means peace, right? You have many other options here. What about number five? Number five. Maybe it means be careful. Maybe it means be careful, right? Let's use uh, that probably, number six. That probably means. It probably, they are, probably means they they are happy. Okay, it probably means they are happy or it probably means they won. Very good. Number seven. Maybe it they means probably hello. probably means he is by. Okay, maybe it means he's saying goodbye, right? Maybe it means he's saying goodbye, or maybe it means he's saying hello, right? And what about number oh. eight? Perhaps I mean she doesn't hear. She doesn't hear you. Very good, because you are talking about her, right? What about the next ones? Let's do the movement, okay? Let's do the movement or the expression. So uh, thank you for all the cameras that I can see. I cannot see Marbelli, I cannot see Emma, Sandrita, Pablo, Carlos, Nati, Elvia, Damaris, Manuel, and Daisy. Todas esas cameras no las puedo ver. So yeah. please help me with that, yes? Can you see me? Yes, Saul, that's a problem with the update of Zoom, okay? My Ese... camera is crazy, I think. Yeah. Uh, that's a problem with the update of Zoom. Tiene que darle a actualizar a Zoom y eh, con eso se le quita. O si no, lo desinstala y lo vuelve a instalar after class, okay? So, because I had the same problem. Yo tenía el mismo problem. I'm so sorry. No, don't worry, don't worry. It's very electronic. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> no, it, it's because of that. Yo tenía ese problema y era la actualización. Me tocó okay. desactivarlo, lo desinstalé, lo volví a instalar. Le di actualizar y ya, that's it. But after the class, you can do it in a couple of minutes. So in my case, it's really where I live and my internet is down. Oh, your internet is down. Okay, so please for the next uh, class, maybe we're going to have better connection. Uh, Sandrita, is there a problem with your camera? Nati? Uh, Elvia and Manuel, I'm missing you. Carlos Fernando also, I cannot see you in Manuelito. Okay, porfa, todos los que no me han su cámara, me ayudan con eso. What is the movement for go away? Everybody, go ahead. Tell me to go away without telling me. Díganme que me vaya sin decirme que me vaya. How do you tell me? Teacher, go away. Uh -huh. Go ahead, do the movement with the body language. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Con su, con su lenguaje corporal, díganme que me vaya. Go away, teacher. I give up. 
me rindo. I give up. <laughs> that man is like, I give up. I give up. I give up. It's, it's over, right? I give up. Pay attention. How do you tell me to pay attention? Ah, look at Elizabeth. It's like, oh, pay attention. Good, Elizabeth. Very good, right? Pay attention. The next one. That's perfect. How do you tell me that something is perfect? That's perfect. Perfect, right? That's perfect. I am very angry. How do you tell? Oh, look at Oscar. Like, I am very angry. Okay, good. I am scared. El Mercado. I love that. I am scared, right? Llegó el recibo de la luz. Antes le tenía miedo a la oscuridad, hoy le tengo miedo a la luz. So it's very crazy. I'm hungry. How do you tell me that you are hungry? You are hungry. You touch your belly, right? You are like. <laughs> Oscar is like. I'm hungry, right? Give me something to eat. How do you tell me that something is delicious? Something is delicious. <laughs> yeah, I was like, nah, yeah, delicious. How was the chocolate cake? Mm, very delicious, right? How was the pacaya? The pacaya covered with egg? Mm, delicious. <laughs> How was the flor de sote? Mm, delicious. <laughs> so, I love your faces, right? That is the face when you don't like something, that you discuss something that you're like, Ish. how do you express that you saw someone that you hate? I got to primo, to amigo. Your best friend is. Your best friend, right? That's another one that we use. He's like, hmm, your best friend. He said, yours, they say. <laughs> and you, and, and you, you, <laughs> and you jump for el tuyo, right? That's a very common thing. It's like, I want to tío, el tuyo. <laughs> so here we have different expressions, right? Different expressions when for sure you want to communicate something with your body. What do you think this one means? What do you think the first one means? It is what? Confused. Um, confused, right? The first one? <laughs> Amazed, annoyed, confused, disgusted, embarrassed, excited, interested, or shock? Embarrassed? He, embarrassed, right? I it might be. Embarrassed. He's shocked, right? But <laughs> you don't know. What about number two? He's amazed amazed he's like interested. interested right it can be interested but what about this one number three it's in, th in this thing i think he's interested or he's amazed or excited right what about the next one number four confused he's confused confused right? he's confused yeah. confused what about this one look at his hair <laughs> Shock. Shock. Yeah. What about the next one here? Gracias. What about this one? Disgusted. Disgusted, right? He might be like, what? Disgusted. Right? Disgusted. What about the next one here? He is all blush. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Okay. Embarrassing. Embarrassed. 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 Yeah. embarrassed. And embarrassed is not embarazada, right? It's a penal. Right? Look, I'm embarrassed. You <laughs> no, that's pregnant. Okay. Just, just for the record. And what about the next one? Annoyed. 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 Right? Annoyed. annoyed is like on top of boring, right? On top of angry, right? You are annoyed. Es más allá de, de harto, aburrido de todo. I'm annoyed. It's like, ah, man, right? You are annoyed, right? And you can express that with, uh, for sure, we, we are very expressive, right? You can keep your mouth, you can keep your mouth quiet, but not the face. 
that's a problem, right? Because we are very expressive. So in this one, we have a little bit of emphatic stress. You say, that was amazing. You really frightened me. You know what's the meaning of frightened? It's like aterrorizado. I exactly, think. right? You were really fright you really frightened me, right? When you feel really, really scared and nervous at the same time. Say that was amazing. Amazing is for sure more than beautiful, right? Embarrassed, shock, exciting, and disgust. So tell me, when was a moment of your life on which you feel you felt embarrassed? Do you remember a moment in your life on which you felt embarrassed? Anyone, any example? In my case, I don't remember this. <laughs> okay, I was waiting for a story, right? In my case, teacher, I don't remember. <laughs> have, you, have you ever had an accident with your shoes in public? When I leave me the bath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when the bus left me, right? When the bus left, left me. me. When the like, bus yeah, left me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the next one. <laughs> I will take the next one. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have an option, right? <laughs> You're like, eh. so have you ever had an accident with your shoes in public? Que se ha reventado, se ha roto, se ha descosido, se ha despegado. Yeah. In public. It's too embarrassing for me to share or compartir. To share? <laughs> to share. <laughs> well, it happens, right? And it's a very common thing. Have you ever had an accident with your clothes in public? You don't have to tell me about it, but you can tell me yes or no. An accident with your clothes. Yes. On yes. Sopapa. Correct. Yes. Oh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> terrible and embarrassing, right? At the same time. What about, okay, Saul? Uh, I remember for a Christmas, uh, I was with my cousin and we drank alcohol. <laughs> the problem was when I go to my home and my father told me, uh, why are you, you walking that way? I said, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> it was. <laughs> well, that was shocking and embarrassing at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing? Nothing? Nothing. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happens with okay. the two of you? They said <laughs> it was only your father. <laughs> so that was embarrassing. A uh, disgusting moment. Disgusting. Like you say, ash. A disgusting moment that you have had? Nothing. You have very normal life. <laughs> you, you never you never have any issue with life. That's beautiful. Yeah, I have tons of stories, right? But it is nice that you don't have anything disgusting in your life. So here. We are we're going to stop in this part of the book right now because I'm going to call the attendance, right? If you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? That is important. And then we are going to go with the answers of the questions in groups, okay? So let's go here. Let me just find the attendance here. Okay. Ana Julia? Present teacher. Thank you. Let me just move here. Okay, here we go. Uh, Byron Rafael. Present teacher. Carlos Fernando. Present teacher. Cristina Vigail. Present. Thank you. Let's continue with Damaris Merari. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena. Present. Elizabeth del Carmen. Present teacher. Elvia Sofia. Present. Emma Jamilet. Present teacher. Giselle Cecilia. Present. 
Giselle. Iris Rosario. Present teacher. Manuel Alejandro. Manuelito. I have just seen Manuel and he just left. Okay. Uh, Marbel y Jocelyn. Present teacher. Marlon Ernesto. Marlon Ernesto. Okay. Natalie Geraldine. Yeah. Nelson Rolando. Present. Okay. Oscar Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Reyes. Present teacher. Patricia Verónica. Patín. Okay. René David. Renécito. Okay. Sandra Yanet. I'm here, teacher. Sara Maria. Sara Maria. Hello. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Arnulfo. Present. Thank you. And that's it. Okay. I am missing. Okay. Emma Jamilet. Thank you. Yes, I call. I got it. Uh, Marlon said, Ernesto. I can hear my name. Oh, Elmer. Yeah, but I call you. Yeah. Elmer Mauricio, yes. I call you. I got you there. And let me see. I have Patricia Veronica. I'm missing Patricia. I have something in the chat. Let me see. Ah, M. I have Emma. I am missing. Okay. Sara Maria is here. Rene David. I am missing Renecito, I am missing Patricia, I am missing Marlo Ernesto, and that's it. Okay, so those are the people. Thank you very much for your answer to the attendance. Okay, so right now I am going to give you some minutes for you to go and share with your groups about the answers to the questions, right? Yesterday I asked you to please answer a couple of questions that I sent you in the chat and that I also sent you in, uh, well, what that we saw in class, right? We saw the questions in class and we had the chance to actually receive them on the chat as well. So I am going to show you the questions again because we are going to use them. And I need you please to go and share your answers with the class, okay? You are going to share the answers with your little groups first. And then I'm going to ask random people to give me answers, okay? I will have groups of four working and I have the questions uh, right here. Let me just show them again, right? We were working on these specific questions. You can see here. I have here the questions. Remember that I told you to choose three. So please, we are going to go over this. Right. Yesterday you chose your three questions. Let's go to the groups and I need you to share your answers. Okay. I need you to share your answers and I will be listening to the different groups in some minutes. Okay. We are going to, uh, let me see. I am going to give you only four minutes to this, four or five minutes. Let's see, five. Okay. I will give you five minutes and okay, you are going to receive a notification when it is done. Okay. So let's go to the different groups right now to share your answers. Accept my invitation, people. We have five minutes for this activity.
Okay, thank you. Accept my invitation, please. Elvia, Damaris. Teacher. Yes, uh, Elvia, you didn't receive the invitation. I have a problem. Uh, that cuando en, intento entrar al grupo, eh, me saca inmediatamente, pero ya había tenido ese problema hace bastante, no sé si se recuerda. Sí, eh, lo vamos Ajá. a intentar, la voy a cambiar de sala a ver si me deja. Okay. ¿sí? Okay. Okay. Eh, Giselle, no sé si le llevo mi invitación para los grupos. Ahí voy. Hello, Manuel, accept my invitation, please. I will send you to working groups. Nothing, Elvia. Lo mismo le pasó. Giselle? Hola, Giselle. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Who is sharing about the answers? ¿Quién está compartiendo? Huh? Keeping an eye on everybody. <laughs> Keeping an eye on you. Huh? It's like, pues, yeah. sí, pero es que la teacher. Ah, oh, yes. Aha, uh -huh. yes. No, aha. Uh -huh. yes. How often do you exercise, Pablo? Ajá. Ya me iba. Ya me iba corriendo. No, Pablo. No, I got you here. How often do you exercise, they say? Eh, teacher, yo entré tarde ayer y este, no me ubiqué con los ejercicios que dejó, pero este, uh -huh. uh, había que elegir tres preguntas, ¿verdad? Yes, I, I told you even today on the chat. Desbloqueenme el chat, ah, niño, sí. hombre. Desbloqueenme el chat, mm. ya vi. <laughs> Eso es, es, tenerla bloqueada sería un gran pecado mortal. ¿Cómo? Ah? <laughs> so please, 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 please. <laughs> Check the, the check the question, answer. okay? The questions. You can you can ask mm -hmm. any of the questions. Uh, for example, here, uh, I'm I'm going to share my screen with all of you. I have all the questions here. And Elmer asks you one. How often do you exercise? So you can give an answer to that one. Okay, teacher. Uh, in my case, I sometimes do exercise because. I get up early every day and return leather for my house. Okay. Good. So, another question. Hurry up. Another question. Uh, do you think talking about emotional health is important? Why? Why not? Uh -huh. Do you ah, think in it... my case? Uh -huh. I think that talking about emotional health is important because I learn now myself and I help myself too. Very good. Let's see. Uh, Pablo, what sports do you enjoy playing or watching? What sports do you enjoy playing or watching? Um, 
me pregunta si me gusta ver... Eh, no, what sports, ¿qué deportes do ¿qué you deportes, enjoy? Sí. ¿Playing oh, okay. or watching? I'm watching. Um, I am... I am... Eh, I, I am like... Eh, I enjoy... I am enjoy, enjoy eh, eh, soccer. I, eh, I enjoy watching. I enjoy eh, playing. Uh, you enjoy okay. watching soccer and playing soccer. Okay, Damaris, <laughs> let's see. What was the last concert you have attended? Damaris? Señorita Damaris? Ah, yes, what was the last concert that you attended? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, any. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Teacher, I'm yes? sorry. Uh, uh, what sport do you enjoy playing or watching? In my case, I like to watch soccer in the weekend. Is correct? I like to watch soccer on the weekend, on the weekend. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Tell me, Damaris, what you, or what kind of music do you listen when you meet with your friends? What kind of music do you listen when you meet with your friends? Uh, I like to listen to, with my friends, of and electropop. Pop and electropop. Okay, good. Very good. So I am going to stop sharing right now. I am going to take you back to the main section. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Hello, hello. Hello again. <laughs> hello again. <laughs> Hello, students. We meet again. Okay, good. So we are going to give answers to the different questions. I need one volunteer to tell me, how often do you exercise? Natalie. Can I do it, teacher? Okay, Natalie and Elmer. First, Natalie, go ahead. I exercise like five or 12. I, ex I exercise for like four to six days a week. Okay, I exercise from four to six days a week. Very good, Elmer. I sometimes do exercise because wake grab early uh, every day and return later for my house. Okay, I return later to my house, late. You say, I return to my house late. Okay, because if you say, I will return later, it's like, vengo más tarde, right? But if you're leaving, but if you say, like, I okay, return teacher. late. Saul, tell okay. me. Teacher, I have to. A doubt, uh-huh. A doubt, uh -huh. what is the, the correct uh, way to say, I do exercise or only I exercise? Both of them are okay. But if you tell me, for example, I do exercise in the morning and or you can say, I exercise in the morning. Both cases are correct, right? Oh, okay. But if you are affirming, you say like, do you exercise? I do exercise. Que yo sí lo hago. So that's difference. But the pronunciation is the different one. But it's like, I do exercise. Que yo sí me ejercito. But if you say, I do exercise in the morning, and that's different, right? Sí, me hago ejercicio en la mañana. Or I exercise in the morning. The two forms are correct. So, uh, let me see. I will go. Have you listened to a new artist or song in the past week? Anybody who wants to answer that one? In my case, no, teacher. No. I don't listen to the same. The same I... music, right? Spotify is like, ah, yeah, the same <laughs> 10 songs. I know. The playlist. The, the same, same. playlist. <laughs> the same playlist, right? No new music this week? Nothing. Nothing. The last week, uh, I heard a song called Ceiling by 
Lizzie McAlpine. Okay, so that's a new song, right? You can send the name on the chat so we can all listen to it. Tell me, do you think talking about emotional health is important? Why or why not? Okay, teacher. In my case, it's important because uh, I learn my, my myself. I I help myself too. Okay, you learn from yourself and you help yourself too. Elizabeth, what were you going to say? Okay, I think it's very important because a uh, reinforce defense. Okay, you re okay you reinforce right your you reinforce your mental health and your body right good so i need you please to keep an eye on the answers right if you can write the answers to the question that would be perfect okay so you can actually organize your ideas at the moment of answering but that is going to be something that we're going to reinforce tomorrow right i am going to answer all the questions so you can have an idea on how to answer each of them we're going to study that tomorrow okay so please thank you uh, we're going to work on that as well. So we can work on Thank that. You. Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I will see you tomorrow for the next class. Tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Good night.